With a maximum speed of just 5 km per hour, the rocket Ariane was transported from the warehouse it was built in towards the launch pad. On board, the space probe known as JUICE, a probe which will make its way to the giant planet Jupiter and also explore its icy moons, Europa, Callisto and Ganymede. We won't be looking for life forms. With JUICE, we're going to try to figure out if the moons are habitable. We're looking for three elements, water, energy and a fairly specific chemical, which we can abbreviate to CHNOPS, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. Researching habitability does not mean looking for life. Discovered in 1610 by Galileo, these moons orbiting Jupiter enabled him to confirm the theory of heliocentrism and that the Earth revolves around the Sun. 400 years later, his successors are exploring them to better understand the planetary system. Ganymede is even bigger than Mercury, so it's like a mini planet. And it's actually a sort of mini solar system that we'll be studying through the mission. And we hope that it will give us the elements to better understand Jupiter's system, but also other solar systems. The European Space Agency is counting on Ariane 5 to launch its first mission to planets outside of the solar system. This will be its 116th and penultimate launch. The objective, to be as precise as possible in order to maximize the engine's lifetime. Every launch is a bet. We're mastering the propulsion elements a lot more, so we have really fine-tuned control over the motors. We have high-performing navigation systems which enable us to have such precision. It will take eight years for JUICE to reach Jupiter. Four years later, in 2035, it will revolve around Ganymede and become the first probe to orbit around a moon which is not the Earth's.